However, it's also going to trigger a monster to start chasing you, which I'm surprised it hasn't happened just yet. But oh, he was nearby. Your name is Cal Fu. We got to run. Welcome everybody to the Falcon One Shot. I am your host Falcon. This right here is Hero Generations Region. Now, Hero Generations is not a stranger for this channel. We actually covered the original game Hero Generations on the channel last year. Um, I had a lot of fun playing it, albeit I'll be honest with you, I don't think I was the best player out there. Like I knew the mechanics, but the game is very, I guess if you want to perform well in late game, you definitely have to take a more of a min-max approach to the game itself, so it definitely can be pretty hard down the line if you don't plan further ahead into the game for the late game itself. But that being said, I still really enjoyed my time with this. Regen is essentially kind of like the definitive version of the game. A lot of it has been reworked and redone, so I really want to take a look at this and see what all the differences are now, because I really had a lot of fun playing Hero Generation of the channel. This is um, a game that was released on PC and also mobile devices originally, and the same thing can be said about Regen, and that's really cool because the game is very... It's a really cool game to play on mobile devices, I guess, so if you're like a tablet or a phone, you could definitely just go ahead and pick it up on the fly anywhere you're at, play a little bit of time, and have some fun with it. So it's definitely one of those games that definitely translates pretty well from PC to um, mobile devices as well. But anyway, let's get into the game over here and click Start to begin. Alrighty guys, and here we go. So I'm going to take this as a bit of a tutorial approach, so if you are familiar with the game, I do apologize. We'll make some progress, believe me. But I also want to go ahead and explain this in a way that new players could also feel comfortable with the game going forward. Um, our very first generation is going to be Shanita. Uh, it sounds like a really female-oriented name, and I think it's a male, so sometimes we're into issues like that. You also get to name your people, and um, this will be done after your very first generation comes into fruition right near. So what you want to do, honestly, is accumulate fame, Get money, get strength, and then go ahead and find a mate for you to mate with, and then your next generation will definitely benefit from your prior run, and it goes on and on and on. It's definitely very, very fun in that regard, especially because um, the way you kind of decide to go about your decisions and also how much fame you accumulate, who you decide to mate with will definitely have a really big impact on your future generations. Now, the ultimate goal over here is going to be to fend off the impending doom, which happens after 15 generations. So. You start off really like, you know, nice and mellow, having a good time, and then you realize, oh, there's an impending doom coming along the way, and that's what you're building towards to, that impending doom. So you definitely want to make sure that even though you're having a good time, by the time the impending doom shows up, you have a really strong, uh, I guess, sibling in your generation line that could actually hold up against this boss fight. But for now, let's actually go ahead and move down. Every single time you move, it's gonna be one year of your life. I know, I know, what are you telling me, like, you know, one step ages you one year? It does in this game, okay? Don't even question it. We do have a couple of quests here. Let's take a look at these. Right now we have, this is the forest area that we're at at the moment. We have to visit all forests for 4,000 fame. Deliver a killing blow in combat to the boss monster. Okay. These will all be in this little area, which is going to be the easy one. If we zoom out, as you can see, all of these are different areas in the game. And this is just a little small portion of the one you start off with. Um, here we have a cave. Let's come over here and investigate this cave, though. We got 400 coin over here, which is great. Since we have a little bit of money, let's come over here. This will be our starting area, right? Um, and these little areas, you get to find your mates for the future. And you could actually influence how many mates will be here by building, like, say, the district, which adds one new mate to a nearby town. You could also build museums, observatories, and barracks. All of these have different type of objectives to them. So the farm will give you 400 gold every 10 years. These barracks will give you five strength potions for every 10 years as well, and it goes on and on. And these will definitely have bigger upgrades as you progress on the game. So the more you, the longer you play the game, the more generations will be able to unlock different types of stuff as you go forward. But this will be like our, our very first setup over here. So early on, what I like to do is actually get some strength happening. So let's go ahead and set up a barrack. So we are actually more potent in combat, because at the moment, we'll get wrecked in combat. So we definitely want to avoid combat here going forward. We got 500 more coin, and we're just moving around. If we go ahead and right click on homeboy over here, Daniel, Attack power 1. If he wins combat rolls, he will actually do 5 damage to our overall lifespan. So, if he was to win a combat and attack us, we'd go down to 58 years of life. Um, your characters will go through a different periods of life to go into adulthood, midlife, and then old age. And anything there's, there's even one after old age as well, which is maybe death, I don't know. But the older you get, the stronger you get. But after you hit old age, you start losing power. So you definitely want to make sure you're mating before that happens, because if you mate and you're too old, your future generation will definitely suffer from that. So for now, let's actually just continue investigating here a bit as we go forward. And here we have an Ancient Treasure 3. Now, these will definitely be for fame orientation, right? I picked this up right now. I'm surprised we did not trigger a boss monster. Normally, when you pick up these treasures, you want to bring them back to the town, and it'll give you some fame straight up. 
However, it's also going to trigger a monster to start chasing you, which I'm surprised it hasn't happened just yet, but oh... He was nearby! Your name is Cal Fu? We gotta run. We gotta run. That guy's gonna wreck me. We lost 20 fame for running, but that's okay. This is the guy I was talking about. Essentially, whenever you pick this up, he will chase you to no end. Luckily for us, we have a chance of either coming back here and dropping that um, statue off, or we have another town right here. So we move over here, and now we've dropped it off. He's gonna stop chasing me, and that'll be it. Now, this guy over here is really not too strong, all things considered. He's strong now, for sure, because we have... This is our first generation, but... He's somebody you could bring down after maybe two or three generations if you build up properly here. So now he's going to stop chasing me because we dumped this off. And we have no cash on us, unfortunately. Let's move upwards. Stop chasing me, bro. <laughs> I already dumped that off. Now this over here is going to be the temple, which will give you a lifespan bonus every 16 years. I think it only starts off with two extra years per, um, uh, per bonus. So... If you're looking to spam these early on, it's not really too useful. It's going to be definitely more useful once you start moving down the line and you have like people that survive for longer periods of time to really benefit from that boost here. Here's we have another treasure, so let's go ahead and pick this up. Now he's been triggered. Oh, I'm very angry and triggered by that. What, what is this? Adult Milestone, you have reached a new life stage. We have now 10 extra points of attack. Great, so now we can definitely get into some combat and hopefully win a couple of fights here. We dumped that off. Excellent. More treasure for us? Great. Mm, since we have 1300, let's go ahead and do maybe a farm one. What I like to personally do is have like different areas that focus on different things. Like down here, we have the potion. If we come down here, we get five extra strength power. What I like to do is actually have like an area with nothing but farms, another area with nothing but museums, because if you have museums, you will double up the amount of fame you get for bringing those um, treasures back to the town. And another area for nothing but like um, strength bonuses as well. And you kind of like time them and then kind of run back to the area, pick up all the bonuses, run somewhere else. Over here, you have a little bit of a bonus of life spend already um, showed up here as well. Now, homeboy over here is going to be 21 attack power. Definitely going to destroy us, so we'll let a future generation deal with that. Or maybe once we level up, or at least go into our next adulthood. Now, ideally, I want to leave this one here because if I bring it back here, we get a bonus from that. Can I make it, though? One, two, three. One, two. I don't think it's going to go into the town, if I'm right. Boom! Got it. And we just doubled up on our fame instead, so we're up to 2680. Now, let's actually enter a village here momentarily, because I'm going to show this off. It's really good to have an idea of what's going to be in the village, because sometimes these mates will have different type of requirements needed. Like, sometimes it'll be like this, for instance, you have to have 10 strength to require um, mate with this um, person over here, Johan. Am I a male or a female? I don't even know. Well, anyway, um, <laughs> I guess male or female don't matter, they'll still mate. And it'll still give you a kid somehow. I guess adoption's a thing. But um, for this one, for instance, we need 10 strength, which we do have. Now, mind you, if we did not have 10 strength, we could not mate. And if you fail to mate before you die, game over right there. So you definitely want to have that in your um, back of your mind over here. Uh, nice catch. We have mating bonus 500. So for mating by Johan, who happens to be a nice catch, some of them will be like commoners or like peasants. So they'll like, they really won't give you too much of a benefit. But if you find something like this, it'll give you a 500 bonus to um, fame for your next generation over. But for now, we still have a lot of traveling to do, so we'll ignore it. Up here, we have access to the next map over. Which I really don't want to go to just yet, but let me go ahead and just do it to just show you some of the other stuff out here. As you can see, we have Skeletor, named Connor, 36. Yeah, he's gonna wreck me. So we're gonna definitely just go back now. Don't want... Excuse me. Get back on the boat. Yeah. So we don't want to go there just yet. That'll be something for the future. At the moment, you definitely want to stay in the first land. We have some money over here to pick up. We're down to 300, which is actually pretty broke. Oh, good. Nice little dead end over here. But we have hit another stage in our lifespan, which will bring us up to 21. Now, we could beat Anna. It's going to really be like a duke out. But um, if we could beat her on a roll, we could actually get access to this lair. And what this will do, it'll give you um, a jump to another part of this village. Uh, a bit of a shortcut, really. So, oh, no. Anna has the warrior trait. So... What Warrior does, it'll be an extra roll, where if... She'll get, like, a bonus to this over here. So, for instance, right now, let's roll. I beat her by one, but her Warrior trade gave her one extra point, which allowed it to tie it up, so we basically broke even there. Nobody lost, but I did move her out of that way, so that's fine. There she comes again, though. Shit. All right, let's try it again. She beat me. So we're going to lose five years of her life because she beat me. So we definitely want to pick up either the, the strength potions or just come back with a future generation for that. I don't really have to do that just now, but I wanted to show off some of the combat for you guys as well. So normally it's an idea I would not do because it's still an even break, and especially with the warrior trade. You have to get really lucky with your roll to win as well. So 
We got two extra points to our life sign, which is fine because we just lost five with that attack over here. Let's find out who's in this village and find out of an extra maid. Nice catch. Okay, required 10. We have 21. We could go ahead and mate with Johnny right here if we wanted to. I guess we have to assume I'm a female after all, since we're getting nothing but male um, people to mate with here. You know what? Let's go ahead and mate. Let's do it. I'm going to show off more of the features over here as well. I probably wouldn't mate this early as well. There's a lot of potions down below which you have not collected just yet. But I want to show off more of the features and actually focus on mid-max playing here. So after you go ahead and mate with somebody, you get to name the hero for yourself. Uh, we'll call this Falcon... Falconator. The Falconator. Male or female? I don't know. Oh, it's going to be a male, actually. Good. Perfect name for him. And here you go. Now, the flips will be based on when you're mating and who you're mating with as well. So, um, since we made it still before we hit old age, we get more flips for our future generation over here. And it'll tell you how many traits are on the board and how many rare cards there are. The rare cards are going to be the good ones. Essentially, like, plus 10 strength, plus 11 strength, um, a really rare ability, etc., etc. We haven't talked too much about abilities, but we noticed it with, um, when we fought that bandit who had the warrior trait. That was essentially an ability that you could actually pass on to future generations as well, as long as your parents have that tra uh, trait to pass down, obviously. Kind of works like Pokemon, I guess. I don't know. So we got 600 um, coins for our next generation. Not really a good flip whatsoever. That's a really good one. It's a rare one. One of five now. So we have seven strength to start off with, meaning they'll start off with eight right now. Can we find some more? We got... What ability is that one? I guess it'll tell me afterwards. Uh, let's see. We have three more flips available. Let's come down here. Ah, doubled up. I'll take the three. So we're up to ten already. Um, and now these over here will be a guarantee money or life bonus. Is it going to be a good one or a bad one, though? You don't really know until you flip it. I normally don't ever trust these too much, and, you know, money's not really too important. This is not too bad if it's a rare one because you get an extra added bonus. But uh, let's go up here instead, and we got one. Should have probably gone with that one after all. Now let's find out what these abilities are. 16 years later, so my parents are still alive, thankfully. Sometimes they'll both die before you are off for your little adventure yourself. Temple technology has now been unlocked, meaning we could actually level it up to level 2 now, which will give you a bigger boost to your um, added bonus for life. And here we come! The Prophecy of Doom! Beware, Doom comes in 14 generations! And that's what you're basically building yourself to. But you want to make sure that you are ready for that fight, which is going to be really, really difficult. And that's where the min-maxing comes into play, which is something I'm not really too great at. I'll be honest with you right now. Uh, we have two traits of strong blood. Adds one rare strength card and reveals one card type on your child's parenting board. So that's actually a pretty good one for my next generation over. So we have the Falconator here. Uh, let's move them out of here. Let's pick up those extra two points. Pick up treasure. I'm going to start getting chased over here. Now, another thing we haven't talked about is the shops. And also, you're probably noticing there's a couple of item slots over here. You could add weapons to your characters. You could add, like, um... Uh, mining tools, you could add like hammers. The hammers actually work to fix your locations. These locations over here will age over time. Not that one, but here. No, not that one. Here we go. 184. So after 184 years, this temple will basically break down and it's no longer going to give you any bonuses. So you want to make sure you go over there with a hammer at some point or another and basically fix it so that it doesn't break down completely on you. Um, how much money do we have at the moment? 900, so really not enough for an item, but I'm going to show off the item shop at least. Again, I'm not playing really good right now whatsoever. I just want to show you guys the features of the game, so you know what you're kind of getting yourself into. Um, for the item shop, if you had enough money, you could buy the iron hammer. Repairs a building, that's what we just talked about at the moment, actually. So if you had an iron hammer, you could repair a building by 40. Uh, the level of the hammer will also dictate how much you repair it by, so it'll be like wooden hammers would be like 20, irons would be 40, I guess there's a 60 maybe for a golden hammer, who knows, but it goes on and on. What is this one? This is a life raft. Move over water tiles and plus 5 strength in the island world. Pretty cool. So in the island world, you get a 5 plus strength bonus to your generation, and you can actually now move over those little water tiles that we got stuck at a while back. So it's a very good, useful tool to have, but we don't have enough money for it, so let's actually just retreat for now. Homeboy over here should be chasing me because I have the treasure, so let me come down here. We do know there's another city down here. Oh, two of them, actually. Who are you? Brit. I'm gonna fight Brit. Now, these other human characters over here aren't really too much of a big problem. They're not gonna actively come after you, but sometimes they'll be in your way, so you have to kind of knock them out because of that. But as you can see, they have a lot of lifespans, so if you want to completely kill them, it's gonna take a lot of combat, which isn't really too useful, so I would normally ignore those unless you really have to fight them. But luckily there's a museum here, so by bringing a treasure over to this town, we should get a thousand fame. Boom! That's the money that was over here accumulated as well. Pick up another life potion. Brit, you're in the way. I want to pick up that money. I'm sorry, Brit. 
I really want to kill you. You just keep getting in my way. Now you're down to 50 years of life. See, you brought this on yourself. Let me pick up my strength potion. Now, because this has been over here for a while, if I move out of the way, it should probably produce another one soon, or am I wrong here? No, no. It basically produces it, and if you don't pick it up in time, it'll basically... St it won't stack. It's what I'm getting at over here, unfortunately. Yeah. Over here, this guy, Daniel. Relatively easy fight. Really? So you're telling me from being able to roll 1 through 17, I rolled a fucking 0. <laughs> or I guess 0 to 17. Aren't... It should be without said that, um, you know, RNG plays a really big factor in this game, as you are probably know. It's about fucking time. You're dead now. Jesus. Jesus. Took longer than I really had to. Oh, there was two guys there. We killed Davish, now we're barely killing- Dude, come on, Falconator, you're the terrible- You're the worst dude for combat of all time. That's another forest for us, though. Remember, we have a quest over here. If we visit every forest, we get a 4,000 fame. So, there is that. Adulthood? Good. Maybe you're a better fighter now. 27, right? Yeah. Let me pick up a life potion because we lost a couple there. We have another strength potion over here, which I'm going to pick up. We still have 50 years of life. Again, this game is all about decisions, like where you decide to move, because every single year, every single move is taking off a year from your life, so, you know, it becomes very min-max in that regard. Whether you're making use of your time or not. I want to say, killing these two guys and grabbing this forest will give us that quest done. Let me give it a try here. I'd be more confident in this fight, but again, we've lost some really easy fights so far, so I'm not confident whatsoever anymore. The RNG in the game, man. Another forest. Alright, got you down as well, Lyria. There you go. Now... No, we still have a couple more forests. You know what, I guess the ones that we went through before... As I mentioned, that's a renewable quest, if I'm correct. So every single generation will have a bit more. Although, there's a bit more over here. Maybe we can continue fighting down this side. I want to get that quest done, at least, before we wrap up. Which is almost time for us to start wrapping up, honestly. Now, mind you, I haven't been playing well because I've been just kind of going about this in a tutorial type of manner to give you guys an idea how the game plays out. So, whatever I'm doing, do the opposite of it. At least you know the breakdown of it, like, you know, farms and stuff like that. But you want to ignore stuff like that. Oh, here we go. Ten more to my attack power. Should be enough now to bring down Anna from the past here. My parents could have bring you down, but I definitely can. Boom! Now, we got some treasure over here. There's one more lair available right here for us. Let me pick that up. Monster Man will chase us down, but that's okay. We're in the verge right now of... You're 18? We should be able to beat you. We're on the verge right now of actually completing the lair quest, so... That'll be your dead. And here's my fame boost. All lairs complete. Now, forest. Are you part of the forest thing, too? Hmm. I don't think you are, huh? Six of eight. So we're still missing two, which would be... One right here, probably? Oh, and two. Okay, I got you. I got you. Hold up. We wrap this episode up when I get this goddamn quest done. I want to go into my next generation with a lot of fame. And hopefully before we hit old age as well. 35, zero. Down you go, Ryan. That should be seven of eight. Yeah. So, here we go. This will be the last um, forest for ourselves here. And even though we still have a couple of years left, I'll go ahead and just uh, mate with somebody to show you guys the benefit of having a lot of fame. Also our traits, and by mating early as well. So that'll be it, and that'll give us our next fame boost right here. And it over. Boom! 8600. A couple more strength. And let's go. Let's find ourselves a mate. Actually, before we do that, let me come up here and build ourselves a district. This will give us a second mate. And... Let's also go ahead and go and... Oh. Brit! You're getting in the way, Brit! I got stuff... Well, fuck me, I guess. Brit's saying, no, no, you're in the way, Falcon. Falconator. I'm not too happy about that. There we go. Out of the way, Brit! Go to the right. Not up. Right, please. There you go, good. Now we have three mates over here because we've gone ahead and built some of these over here. So we can actually choose from a decent mate. So if you see somebody that's like a commoner, you want to wait for somebody better. Now that you have three options, we have a better chance over here. So over here we have nice catch for Jenny. Arya's gonna be a beauty. 
So this will give us a mating bonus of a thousand. We have required. Oh, what? What do you mean required? I can't mate with you. I, I require uh, apparently a, a brat baby. Why? <laughs> Sarah requires um, 1800, which we do have. So we could definitely mate with anybody over here except you, I guess, huh? What is this baby thing about? Oh, rejected. I'm not sure what the baby thing is. You know what? She might not be capable of having kids, so you might have to get an adoption. Um, there's actually adoptions in the game, too, but it's another, I think it's an unlockable you get later, if I'm correct. Um, but let's go ahead and just mate with Sarah over here. Sarah, isn't that the girl from Final Fantasy XIII? Could be. Yeah, I know about that game. Believe me, I was quite disappointed. Yeah, I know, I'm one of the people who didn't like the game. What about it, huh? If you liked it, good for you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I did not have a good time with Final Fantasy XIII. The last one I kind of enjoyed was um, 12 a little bit. I love 10. You know what? After all these years, after originally not liking it too much, now I can tell you I really enjoyed 10 a lot. 12 was kind of like, eh. 13 was kind of like, nope. And hey, 15's right around the corner, right? So we'll see about that one. Um, hero name, we're going to call you um, the Falconess. So why not? And let's just flip randomly. I'm going to pick this up because it's a trade. Hey, we got 10 years to the... Thing? Oh, I got a rare money one. Oh, wow! I'm getting very lucky with these thumbs. Flips, aren't I? There you go. And that is essentially Hero Generations in a nutshell, everybody. Very, very fun game. Very addicting as you progress with um, you know, the game as you go forward with the game itself. More stuff unlocks, so it makes it a lot more fun. But definitely a fun little game. Amazing little time waste. And we actually got a gift here. Reduces the requirement of mates in town by 20%. Alright, there you guys have it. All the information for the game will be down below in the description. I will catch you next time.